office of the special prosecutor has arrested the former minister of sanitation and water resources Cecilia Dapa for having a suspicious amount of money in her home. Now, is this arrest in the right direction or is a resignation enough? Let's find out from some Ghanaians on the streets of Accra. I think she should be arrested. Why? Resigning is not enough. Ghana needed large amount of money. And this money could have helped in some way. But if one minister is keeping this thing in his house, this is the only one we have caught. What about the rest? It means Ghana is not in need. The people, they are just deceiving us. They think we are in need, but we are not in need. They are holding the money inside and they are letting us suffer for nothing. So I think this is only showing what they are up there doing. So I don't think they should release her. It cannot be that today, okay? From what I have heard, it cannot be only that today. And what is it for? What is the money for? Is she keeping it for what? Is it any assignment, any project they have given her? What is it for? How can you keep this money? And your house help will be able to steal it and build. So it's, it's no one day thing. It's been a long time. She didn't even realize it. It means she, can, she has more. That's why she didn't realize it. So I think that, in fact, our ministers, most of them are deceiving us. I think that resigning is good because it paves way for the authorities to investigate the situation, to understand. But I think the arrest is also in uh, line with uh, my expectations because she's a public officer and then she's exposed to uh, a lot of resources which makes it possible for her to, I mean, embezzle money. And then beyond that, uh, she's a person who is known to have engaged in certain contracts. I mean, I've heard that she used 43 million dollars to dredge uh, the Odo River and all that. You know, so this is an opportunity for the uh, agencies to investigate those contracts and see whether they were done through proper procurement processes and all that. So I think the arrest and the resignation is good, but. I expect more the, sh the authorities. Okay. So proper investigation should be done, and then if there is any suspicion, then she should be tried before a competent court of jurisdiction, and then I mean we should take it from there. It could be her own money, so why should we arrest her? Yes. Yeah, so we want to have no. of that. She deserves that. She deserves this, they, they always say that there is no money in this country. So where did she get all those monies? Indeed, we are suffering. They will take all our monies and we will be suffering. Indeed, she deserves it. So she did, she did yeah, the law should deal with her. Um, I, don't, I don't think the resignation should be enough if, if there is a crime that she may have committed. I don't think the fact that she resigned should absolve her of those crimes. So if the, the OSP feels they have um, 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 evidence that she may have committed some crimes, then they should go ahead and then investigate her and then prosecute her accordingly. I don't think once she resigns, she should be absolved of all your crimes. Yeah. I think that is, that is the purpose of the investigations, right? When they do the investigations, then they can actually find out where she found one million. Because if you have money legitimately, right, you're not going to hide this under your bed in, in your own house. You're going to put it in a bank, in an investment and all that. So that's the job of the USP. When they, when they find out where she got the money from, then they can actually decide to leave her or prosecute her or charge her with, with her crimes. Well, I think there should be further investigation into it to see whether it's a cover up from the house to just look good and then, so I think there should be further investigation. The fact that she has resigned doesn't mean we should stop. So I think they should still look into it. So, so you, want, you support OSB arresting her? Oh, well, yes. But then it's her money. Even though she's a public official, I think she has a right to have an amount of money in her house. Why do you think she has to be arrested for well, having that kind of you know, money in her house? I listened to a little bit of economics talk on radio last week. This is something that you uh, should advise against. Having a substantial amount of money in your house will definitely affect our banking system. So I think it's in the right for them to you know, arrest their question and investigate into. Well, who knows how much money he has, as she has that, we don't know. Oh, I did, uh, I'm so much, you know, I know, I know. Uh, I share a bank with you, but I don't share a Because, I don't share a bank with you, 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 I don't share a bank
and yes, I banya shemo. Na yeye huu baby a onya asaska. Eye onu asika ndi onprufu onbe prufu nche nche Ghanians. Na yani na yani tia siyese. Eye onu ani sika. Na yes, eye onu onu ani ni sika mpua. Oye minister. Ghana yedi. Mbafra mbafra ni na how. Yako school kula niama mbafra bedsu adi. Eni ho. And he said, Oh, this is going to be a bank, not one this way, Ghanaians are in here. I resign you, I resign you, as I mentioned you. So, this gentleman is saying that she is a public official, and so whether the money belongs to her or not, she needs to account for it. Hence, it is in the right direction to arrest her. Many agree with the special prosecutor for arresting Cecilia Dapa. They suggest that if the money was genuine and clean, she wouldn't have kept it in her room or in her home. What do you also think? Let us know in the comment section. My name is Abigail Johnson Boshe, reporting for Ghana Web.